are you seeing this animation? This is an animation I created with ease using Jitter. Jitter is a great tool to create these kind of interface animations, small kind of animations, and you can export them in a lot of different formats. So I'm going to share with you how you can use and create Figma to Jitter animations. And I am, I'm going to create series of videos like three or four or five videos to, uh, to show you how I actually created these animations and how you can do that too. So this is one, and if you look at this, this is the second one. So this is actually legal document scanning kind of uh, animation, and you can see over here. Similarly, I have another one, let me show you. So you can see on the right, this is the animation. It has a video inside it. You can see, really nice. So this is how they are with a blur, with a blur, move down, move up. So this is how I created this video, uh, this animation, and I exported the most of the elements from Figma. Now, first off is you have to install this uh, Jitter plugin. You can see over here, Jitter, Jitter animation for Figma. So let's, let's wait for it to pop up. Okay, so you can see right now I have selected this whole artboard and it is showing the name of this frame. So you, it should be in a frame. So if I click this, it is going to show that this is actually a CTA uh, auto layout frame. And if I click anything else, it is going to show the name of those footer. So just copy it and it will transfer your, uh, your files or some of the things from here to your artboard in Jitter. So then you move on to Jitter. So this is uh, Jitter's interface. And this is the top is actually the name. You can click and change the name. Then we have, the, we can add audio, we can add images, we can draw a star, a circle, or lips layer, rectangle, basic, this is basic, text, and a video, or this is, this is actually calling it an artboard. I actually thought that's a video. Anyhow, you can add video over here too. So I actually replaced, uh, and then you can also group those okay so there are two tabs on the right which is design and animate so first you have to be in the design section uh, and you have to uh, you have to properly layer uh, and group them so you can see in my figma i exported uh, imported them from my figma and if you look over here it says summarizing and then it has links at the bottom which is over here then it has text which is over here so make sure you try to create groups of the items you want to move together. Okay, so here I have links, I have text, and inside text I have three text groups more. That's why they are moving on their own. Then inside the text I have this arrow, which is this one. They are getting different treatment. And for this video, I'm using group one, and here is the video. So on the right, we have more things like layout, uh, you know, alignment, uh, positioning, angle, corner radius. You can replace the media from here if you want to, opacity control, stroke, shadow, and blur. These are the things. Okay, now what I do is, the best part is that you have to organize everything properly first. Without that, you are not going to animate it any better. So next is animate, okay? So once you go to this one, uh, you can select any layer or any, for example, like this video, and uh, um, you can click on this new animation, okay? So once you click on this, it has fade in, slide in, grow in, these kind of effects. And once you click on this, it is going to apply this effect on this, okay? So you can see. Now it has applied this effect and this is actually the duration. Okay, so if, if you can see now it is like this. So it is growing in. These are different. You can change them to whatever, for example, mask reveal. It will be, it will be totally different. So you can see now it's mask reveal. So these are really great animation. This is a great animation tool. You can see it says smooth easing duration, direction of the in easing and you can copy and delete this and let's try to delete this okay great 
So this is this this is the basic of how you can animate and design uh, your simple UI animation in with Jitter. It, it, its tool is jitter.video. And then once you have created this, you can see this is the timeline at the bottom. If I expand it, it's a timeline. Okay. So right now it has, this is the limit. Okay. So if I move over here, it is going to go over here. And this is a problem. So let's keep it over here, 6.96. .96. Anyhow, so you can also click over here and play it in the loop like this. And uh, second thing is you can replace media and anything. So this is these all these layers, all these are different animations on different things. For example, this one is arrow uh, alt mask reveal has been applied to it. So I have applied different things on different uh, you know groups and different icons and different text so this is how and text is different so if you click on any text if you click on animation you can see there are many appear fade in and all those different text animations um, so this is the basic this is timeline you can extend your timeline from here for example like this it is going to be over here so city is slide in Okay, so I think the problem is, so if I slide in like this, problem is this video, the timeline time of this video should be like this, okay? So this is how you can create and then you click on export and you have many options like video, uh, video 720 pixels, 1080, uh, video 0.5x means it is going to be half size of the video. I normally use GIF for using it in Figma you can also create a loti file which you can give it to your developers so the animations are crisp and everything is great you can also create videos if you want to so this is how you can export it better use uh, chrome for uh, you know exporting and all that because it performs well in chrome you can also share it over here you can also have a lot of templates over here so let's explore some of the templates you can see these are already made templates you can use them and in showing your brand and entities, your UI interactions, your devices, your logos, your social media, video titles, uh, UI elements, charts, icons, buttons, a lot of stuff. Okay. So this is a great tool. I really enjoy uh, working on it. Very simple to learn, very easy to use. This is what I love about it. Okay. So I hope that I will create more videos, more detailed videos uh, on Jitter and creating more animations and things like that in next videos. But this is the overall intro introduction and the interface, how to use uh, this jitter.video and its templates and create awesome looking animations. I will see you soon in another video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.